I'm just saying I think it's females because they're afraid to move on, keeping my body count low or anything like that. I think it's a fear factor. I kind of doubled back a couple of times before I got to move it on. Like, but why? Because you were getting something out of that person. That's what I'm saying. If that person's not giving you nothing, then you're not going to U-turn. Like, I will literally just U-turn just for sex only. You're going out into the world. You're experiencing more. You're learning. You're you're learning more about yourself. And then when you go back to that situation, you're a different person. So now even more, like, it's not going to work. We are A-T-R-E. Uh, all right, so I got, like, I want to kind of dive, like, deeper into this U-turn and double and back thing, right? So if you do have an experience, please share that as well. Um, Cause there's been, there's relationships out there, you know, that we all know of that. They just, for three years, they've been breaking up every six months and having three months breaks and then still going back to their ex. It's almost like dead weight at this point, but they're still going back to it. Maybe, you know, knowing that it's not working, they still going back to that. Have you ever been in that type of relationship? How did you get out of that type of relationship? Or have you ever broke up with somebody and put them on ice thinking that they'll be there forever? And you try to go back and they were never there. Well, you know, in your mind, you think that person is always going to be there. And obviously they think that you're going to be there too. So you guys are both doing U-turns on each other and both wasting each, each other's time and never, you know, you're, you're not in a situation that's going to get anywhere because you keep trying and trying and you're just coming there for something that makes you comfortable, but it's not enough to complete what you're looking for. You're not getting what you really need out of the situation. Doing all this circle shit, <laughs> wasting mad time. And it's just like, why even why even keep going back to that person when you know it's not gonna go anywhere? So what do you think the reason is? What is Different comforts. Like for me, it was just that I knew that person was like always gonna be there for me or always gonna get me. But I didn't know if it was enough love there to be with them forever. Some people, it could be sex. Some could people, it could be, um, you know, I just like- Lifestyles. Yeah, exactly. The lifestyle, the fun, the turn up. He always makes sure we good or whatever. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different reasons why you may go back to someone. But honestly, if, if it's never becoming something concrete, it's just pointless. And it's unhealthy. Yeah. Like hearing this now, hearing as we talk about this now and sitting here in such a healthy space in my life, I'm like, wow, like I was really toxic and unhealthy. And why did I then. purposely do this Why did I constantly go back to this man? And as I sit here now, again, as I stated, you know, I don't have access to this man that I was constantly doing this U-turn with for 10 years, but... If I reach out to him or if I if I did, I can reach out to him because we have similar friends, you know, um, but if I if I were to, this man is not anywhere near what I want in a man. So now I'm like, I've outgrown this. Sometimes it's you, too, though. Like, I can honestly say sometimes it's been me where I'm just like, but let's take advantage. Deep. Let's dive deep. Like, I want to know why are you going back? Like no. in that moment, like you just broke up. Right, maybe you've been away from each other for six, eight months, and you go back. What is in your mind? Is it an addictive behavior? Like, what is making you go back to something that you already truly in your heart know is not going to work? I think I, for, I don't know, for all women, but for me, whenever I've been in that situation, it's always just that little hope. That like, oh, I hope maybe, just maybe mm. things might just be different, or maybe, they might be where I want it to be, you know? And obviously it's never the case. I think I think it's something that most people who do U-turns, um, mainly females, I would say, is that I think it's it's a fear factor. <laughs> I think it's a fear yeah. factor. They're afraid yeah, to- word. Mainly females? <laughs> hey, I think, hey, listen, I'm just saying, I think it's females because they're afraid to move on. It's like something you mentioned earlier with the whole, like, Keeping my, keeping my, you know, keeping my body count low or anything like that. I think it's a fear factor for two reasons. One, their image, as you just mentioned, the uh, body count. And then two, for like, damn, is this next person going to be as good as this man? And whatever it is, whether it's sex, uh, community, whatever it is, I just feel that it's a fear factor and fear plays a big role in that. For me, I feel like I wouldn't go as deep as to say it's an addictive disorder or anything. Um, but with my specific situation, I did kind of consider that it was me. I'm like, maybe we didn't work out because that was my fault. Maybe that was on my end. Maybe I was really just being a bitch. Maybe I should have never broke up with him. Because when I did break up with him, I was just so like over the relationship and I wanted out. Like, 
as fast and like quick as possible. But he didn't. Like he didn't want to break up. And he was just like, you know, begging, pleading for us to like keep trying. So I was just like, why did I overlook the fact that he was doing that? He still wanted this. Like he still loved me. So I was like, I always felt like I could double back because you know, he still had the, the love for me was still there. And I'm like, it's not like I don't love you anymore. I just, our relationship got so bad. But every time you leave a relationship, you're going out into the world, you're experiencing more, you're learning, you're, you're learning more about yourself. And then when you go back to that situation, you're a different person. So now even more like it's not going to work because you're, you're not even the same person you were before. So now you guys got to relearn each other. And now it's just like, you're not even the same person you were before. So the hope that you have to make it work is just, it's not going to work because it's like, I don't know. It's just you're younger or whatever, whatever the, the situation whole, The is. whole U-turning thing, it actually stems from, you see what Amanda just said? I feel like when you, when, let's say you break up with a person, right? And you let, you go about yourself or you have like a, a week or even a month or however it is by yourself. If you're not, if you're not getting anything great out of your life, if you're not getting anything that you need, that's why you make that U-turn. That's why you go back. And then you're like, oh, shit, it was me. I was just over-exaggerating because he was giving me a little bit of something. No. You know, versus what you're getting outside. Because believe me, I don't do no U-turns no more because I found somebody that is giving me everything I need. You made too many U-turns. Ain't no U-turns. And he, but he's you brand ran, new to me. You ran he's out of U-turns, brand new to me. He is brand new to me. And I don't do brand new people. Never in my life. I, I don't like to do brand oh, new really? people. I either, the they only way I mess with you is because I've known you for many years. It's I have because to you're agree with Nisha. It's because I know something of you. I never mess with new guys. That's always been a thing with me. Hey. He's the first one and the last one. And I put I'm that on my kids. Let me say something. And that goes to say, uh, Dion, you touched on it. Um, it's a fear that women have. And me personally... I, I don't fear talking to new people. I just don't like it. Yeah, like, I don't so like I don't, the don't awkwardness like of having to go out with someone brand new the feeling. and having someone text you like, so what do you like to do? Uh -huh. What are your hobbies? Like that is just, that's just like that. straight awkward to me. <laughs> I, if I know that I, what I want, like the relationship that I want, I'm like, okay, well maybe I could try to make it work with this. I did see a lot of potential in this person. Why did we even break off? Like, I'm like, well, let me see if, you know, we could get that going again. I, I feel like trying something new, it's not the worst thing, but it's comfortability with other people you already 100%. know. Yeah. So both of you ladies have made multiple U-turns, correct? So for you to make that second U-turn, you had to know who that other person was. Like you're getting to know somebody new before you leave that person to make a U-turn back to him. Now a U-turn is just someone you're basically going back to over and over and over, but you guys are saying you have multiple U-turns. So therefore for you to say, oh, I don't want to get to nobody new, or I don't want to get you know to know anyone else or whatever, but you really did essentially because you're coming back to that multiple U-turns, him or him or whoever it is, is multiple people. So. My question there is like, what made you, or how long did it take you to realize like, damn, I did fuck up. Like, let me go back to this U-turn. What's like, what's that process like? Or to add on to that too, when the fuck do you move on? Like, that's what I really want to know is when do, when do you move on? You can when only you make... realize it's not what you need. Or maybe when you realize <laughs> it's a dead end street. But yeah, sometimes <laughs> it takes longer like, so... than, longer than most to move on because yeah. my first, uh, you turn, I moved on pretty quick after realizing, okay, well, yeah, I was pretty right for leaving the first time. There's still all of these problems here. Same person, I can't take it. I gotta go, move on. The second time, I kind of doubled back a couple of times before I got to move it on. Like, but why? Because you were getting something out of that person. That's what I'm saying. If that person's not giving you nothing, then you're not gonna U-turn. Yeah, like, I will literally just U-turn just for sex only. Sex only, and that's just a key thing. So I'll tell you like You this. could literally just U-turn just for sex because you're horny. I think that we can all agree that double backing and U-turning is not typically the right path. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> um, <laughs> and at some point in time, you should stop dating people or double backing people for potential hopes and just let go of the baggage and move on. Amen to that. <laughs>